Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Virginia. It is Thanksgiving 2023. Oh my goodness. It's on my heart to get on here and um, just bring a word of encouragement. I know many, many, many people have had really tough year. A tough year. 2023 has been a hard year. Loss and in many ways loss. Um, transition. Um, you know, challenges come in many ways. But today is a new day. And yes, we all celebrate Thanksgiving, or most of us. Um, you know, what do we have to be grateful for? <laughs> you know, when I when I uh, mentor others uh, and speak into their lives, I I bring only what I can, what's been given to me. All right. One of those important tools is a gratitude list. Get a, people, pay, a piece of paper and a pencil. Start writing down today, today, Thanksgiving 2023. What am I thankful for? Now, some of, some of you might not have anything to be thankful for, you think. But if you give it a minute and just wait, you can say, well, let's see. I'm thankful because um, the weather is decent today. Um... I have a friend today. There's somebody that cares for me. I have, um, I mean, I, it can get down to, I have a bed to sleep in. A lot of people don't have that. So I encourage you to get that paper and pencil out this morning. Even this evening. What do I have to be grateful for? And then ask God. Even if you don't quite understand who God is. Ask God to show you, God, if, you know, help me to be thankful. Um, help me to see the bigger picture. Help me to um, know you more. We're coming into a new year, 2024. <sighs> Looking forward to it every day. Look forward. I look forward to every day because... I don't know what the new day is going to bring. You know, it's not always just, you know, the same old, same old. I don't want it to be the same old, same old. Life is challenging, but but it draws me nearer to God. So today, I just want to bless you today. If your family's dysfunctional, I want to bless you. Take the focus off the family and put it on God. Put it on Jesus. Take the focus off of your circumstances today. Don't let that magic magnifying mind just blow everything up out of proportion. Keep your focus on the higher and the better and the good. And God is the higher, the better, and the good. And in the midst of some of you are going to have a chaotic day. I don't want to, I'm not prophesying that. I'm just saying it's where you're at. You got some crazy family stuff going on. If you have to step out, if you have to remove yourself, breathe deep and take the focus off of them and put it on him. He gave me that word the other day. Take the focus off of them and put, my, put your focus, daughter, on me. That's what the Lord spoke to my heart. I know that that's a word for somebody. So let me pray with you. Bless you today. Father, in the name of Jesus, for the even one listener or a whole bunch of listeners as this year comes to an end. I bless them with supernatural hearing from your heart. That they will hear you in ways they have not heard you before. That they will be super sensitive to your Holy Spirit. Super sensitive to the love of God, the love of Jesus. I pray, Father God, if they don't know you as that awesome Papa, that you will do a work in their hearts that will transition them from a religious belief to a beautiful spiritual belief of knowing you as a good, good Father. So I thank you in advance, Lord, for what you do and 
to the ones that are listening, to my life, to my family. Thank you in advance, God, for the good work that you're going to do and that you are doing. And Father, I thank you for Jesus. He alone is the author and the finisher of my faith. He holds me. Thank you that he holds me. Thank you that you keep me, Lord. Thank you that you keep my these listeners here. Anyone who's listening, remind them who's holding them and has a plan for their life, a plan to turn all things to the good. Teach them, Lord. Comfort them, Father. In Jesus' name. Hey, guys, I'm excited about this season. I'm excited about every day. What, what do you want to do today, Lord? Ask them that. What do you want to do today, Lord? And help me take the focus off of these things, people, places, and things that can trip me up. Help me put the focus back on you. All right. Love you guys. We'll, we'll, uh, oh, and I'm doing this teaching on inner healing and Jesus. So I just finished session one the other day. Look for that on my YouTube page. And I'll be doing session two, I think, tomorrow, uh, Friday. All right. Love you. Uh, don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to step out. Take a breath of fresh air. Um, keep your inner boundaries going. And that's another lesson. But anyway, I love you guys. Uh, take the focus off of people, places, and things. Put the focus back on Christ. In Jesus' name, love you guys.